Have you got an iOS device and you want to play a real FPV simulator on your phone using your controller? A lot of them support Bluetooth joystick, iOS doesn't. Well, there is another way and I'm going to teach you that today. In this lesson, I'm going to teach you how you can set up your controller to connect Wi-Fi, how you can connect your phone to connect directly to your controller and as a bonus tip at the end, I'll also explain to you how we can avoid adding too much extra latency so it still feels locked in. Right, go and grab your controller. Let's start. Now, firstly, to avoid too much extra latency, you need to set up a portable hotspot. Now, I've set this up under FPV SIM and the password 12345678. And we need to remember those for when we go into the ELRS flasher. The other thing you need to do is you need to select your AP band to 2.4 gigahertz. It won't work on 5 gigahertz. So the first thing that you need to do is put your controller into VSC mode. And that essentially gives you a virtual port. Once you've done that, plug it into the USB and move over to the ELRS configurator. Now I'm using the Radio Master GX12. So for that, I'm going to select Radio Master from the device category. And then from the device, I'm going to select GX12. Now, your binding phrase needs to be whatever your binding phrase is, and your Wi-Fi needs to be whatever we've just set up on our phone. And I say that because there's a few reasons why you want to set it up as a hotspot. Number one, the reason why is it will save your latency. But also, number two, if you go on holiday or you're out in the car somewhere and you, you're waiting for somebody and you want to play on the FPV sim, if you set your Wi-Fi up to your home or your controller Wi-Fi up to your home, and you're not at home, you're not going to be able to connect to it unless you are actually at home. And again, unless you sat near your router or your repeater, you are going to add extra latency, which is not something that you want to do. So by setting up your phone as a mobile hotspot, you can do it wherever you are, whenever you are. And most importantly, you will reduce the amount of latency that you add to that controller. So you are going to stay a lot more locked in. The next job, once everything's flashed and set up on your phone and your controller, is to then obviously power it on. Once you powered it on, you need to go to your ELRS Lua script. You do that by pressing the SYS button on most controllers and press EL or Express LRS. Scroll down to the bottom where it says Wi Fi connectivity and then enable Wi Fi. That screen will need to stay on at all times whilst you're using this. So you've got your Wi-Fi running on your controller. You've got your hotspot now turned on on your phone. It's literally just a case of opening up Velocidrone and playing. 